Singapore Airlines Flight 117 departed from Sultan Abdul Aziz Shah Airport in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and is en route to Singapore carrying 114 passengers and 11 crew. At 9.50 p.m., four hijackers armed with knives and explosives took control of the plane. The leader demanded Captain Pilot Stanley Lim to fly the plane to Sydney. However, the pilot replied saying that the plane does not have enough fuel to fly to Sydney. Having no other choice, the leader allowed him to land in Singapore to refuel. 10.24pm, the plane has landed in Changi Airport, Singapore. Police tactical units surrounded the plane while police negotiators attempted to persuade hijackers to release the hostages. The hijackers claimed to be members of the Pakistan People's Party, demanded the release of Asif Ali Zadari and other party members from jail. They also demand the plane to be refueled for the flight to Australia. 11.20 p.m. Flight steward Bernard Tan was beaten up by the hijackers and thrown off the plane. The following day at midnight, hijackers threatened to set the plane on fire. They also physically assaulted Captain Lin and an American passenger. At 2.30 a.m., the hijackers threatened to set the plane on fire again. They lit up some newspapers on the cockpit floor. The negotiators agreed to refuel the plane and the hijackers put out the fire. At 3.30 a.m., the first load of patrol was delivered. Chief Steward Philip Chong was beaten up and pushed off the plane. Both air stewards were able to provide police with information about the hijackers. Meanwhile, Singapore Armed Forces Commandos were rehearsing storming the airbus. The hijackers has lost interest in negotiating. They issued a 5 minute deadline, threatening to kill one hostage every 10 minutes if their demands were not met. At 6.47 am, the commandos received green light to commence Operation Thunderbolt. They breached the plane doors using explosive charge. The first entry team breached the rear of the airbus, killing the first hijacker they encountered. The second entry team breached the cockpit, killing both hijackers in the cockpit. As both teams converged to the center of the airbus, they encountered the last hijacker, killing him. By 6.50 am, the plane was secured and all hostages are unharmed. The hostage rescue operation lasted only 30 seconds. The commandos' first engagement gained international praise and they were later awarded the Medal of Valor.